All right, so welcome to the uh, Mom for Tutors course. This is a short video that's going to show you um, what it looks like to be a tutor and mom. And I'm going to go over some of the features and, and things that you should be aware of. So uh, when you log in, and you're going to see any courses that you're uh, tutoring um, here in the left hand side. And uh, courses that you're taking um, will be listed about below that if you are indeed taking any mom courses. Um, so you'll see that in this box you have new messages and right now I don't have any new messages but if a student does message you and mom this is where it's going to show up. Okay just making sure it's still recording and um, here are any new forum posts that have been posted in mom um, and not all of them are going to pertain to you, but if you see any that say, uh, you know, section 2.1, number 5, you know, basically it's a uh, number, it's giving you the name of an assignment and a question number. Those are going to be ones that you might want to check on as a tutor and go in and see if you can help the student out. Um, the ones right here are introductions from students and then an assignment. Um, that the instructor needs to, to grade called using the forum and mom. Um, so let's go ahead and look in the course. You're going to see the class just like a, or the course just like a student in the course would see it. You have access to all of the materials, all of the homework, um, everything for the course essentially. Uh, so each course that you are tutoring might be set up slightly different from this one, um, but there will probably be a course information uh, folder and then folders with the material. On uh, this one, the material is broken up into weeks for this MT9 class. Um, so if you click on um, the week one, then you see what the learning objectives are, the reading assignment, uh, the videos to watch for it. And then um, this one's set up so that there's a practice and a homework, but only the homework is graded. Uh, so you can click on an assignment, and you're going to see it as a student would. So if they're, you're trying to help them with, say, number 15, um, there's a Get Help video here that you can click on. And if you find a problem with the question, um, suppose that you're putting in a decimal, and uh, maybe you're... It, you think that it's not accepting it because there's not a, you know, the instructions aren't clear on how the answer should be. Um, you or the student can post this question to a forum and it's automatically going to put the question in here for you. All you have to do is say what the problem is or the question is and click post thread. And uh, this is a way that we encourage students to get help as well. It's sort of the equivalent of, um, show me an example from my math lab um, so students can post it and then I'll show them how to do it. I guess it's more like to help me solve this. Uh, so let's go back. Um, to get back where you were, you follow these breadcrumbs up here. All right, so we're back in week one. And then if you just have any other questions, if it's, if it's not a homework problem specifically, um, then you can click on the questions about week one and just say what your question is. But all homework questions can be, you can use that post a forum link. All right, so um, messages. If you want to, uh, if you find a problem and you want to send me a message or send the instructor a message, uh, you just click on messages at the top and, uh, you know, pick either, you know, pick the instructor. It says you have to click send a new message, click an instructor, and then send them a message. I just, I know you had that assignment already to do, but I want to make sure that that's understood. Um, if you click on forums, you can see all the different forums. And um, if you see something in red, that means there's going to be a new new post there. And um, you don't need to worry about autobiographies or using the forum and mom homework. Um, but anything else here, 
below that um, is something that you could take a look at and help. Uh, let's go back to a homework assignment. I'll do the week one homework again. Um, and let's find one that that I can show you the toolbox. Okay, so right here, if you click into it, this little yellow arrow box comes up. And if you click on that, you get the different tools and you're just gonna get the ones that actually pertain to that problem. Um, so you can click on negative infinity or whatever you need there. Again, here, you'll get the same ones. Um, so that's something that might be very useful for students that are struggling with putting their answers in. They could use that little toolbox. Now, if this doesn't show up, um, you can message the instructor and ask them to check to see if MathQuill is turned on. MathQuill is what enables that little toolbox to pop up. Okay, so the one thing um, that tutors have access to that students don't is the gradebook. Uh, we ask that you do not discuss grades with students at all. Um, you know, don't talk about their grades. Now, if they ask you, to see, you, you if they want to pull up an assignment and talk to you about why they got it wrong, that that's fine. Um, but grades are private. Do not discuss it with a student or anyone else. But I wanted to show you the gradebook because, for instance, um, if you click on to a assignment that a student's done, um, like this one, for example, you can see what they got right, see what they got wrong. Um, and you also have the options to show last attempts, so just see what they put in last, or show review attempts. Now, showing review attempts is going to be useful if they do it after the due date, because in most classes, students can do their homework after the due date. It just doesn't count. Um, so showing review attempts is going to show you what they did as a past due assignment. Um, but we'll just go to show scored attempts. And um, these buttons, for some reason, for tutors don't work, so you can ignore all of those. But if we scroll down and maybe find one that they got wrong, like this one, you have the ability to see the answer. So we can see that the student put five halves in and the answer was two and a half. Technically they're the same, um, but if we read the instructions, um, it just wanted you to enter two and a half, you know, so they changed it to an improper fraction and they weren't supposed to. So if you're having trouble, uh, if you think you have the right answer, but you just can't get mom to take it, you can click on show answer to see what they want. And if it seems like the instructions weren't clear on that, um, then you can always, we, we highly, highly recommend that you um, let us know that there's something wrong with that problem so that we can fix it. Um, so that's all there. You can just look at what they got right, what they got wrong, and, you know, in case that they're having trouble getting something in there. Um, so only assignments that they've attempted you can go into. You can see that, you know, nobody's, if they haven't done it, I can't click on anything. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. For, um, oh, calendar, if they are, have questions about what to do, um, some instructors have a calendar set up so that they can see the due dates. And I think that's it. But if you have, if you feel like I haven't covered something, uh, just let me know in the forum and I will make sure to cover it for you.